Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to calculate the cutoff wavelength for TM and TE modes. So, in the previous video, I have given you the calculation for the cutoff wavelength. What do you mean by cutoff wavelength? The wavelength beyond which the waves will not be traveled in the rectangular waveguide. So, what do you mean by cutoff wavelength? Uh, let us start from the definition of the cutoff wavelength. So, cutoff wavelength indicated by lambda c. So, cutoff wavelength is nothing but it is defined as it is defined as the maximum or the highest wavelength highest wavelength beyond which the wave cannot travel in rectangular waveguide RWG is nothing but rectangular waveguide. So, this cutoff wavelength indicates it is the maximum wavelength that the wave and that the wave can travel within the rectangular waveguide. Okay, beyond this lambda c the wave cannot travel in the waveguide. Okay, it is quite opposite with the fc cutoff frequency. Cutoff frequency be uh, that is the least possible frequency that a wave can travel in the waveguide. Above that frequency, all the waves can travel in the waveguide. But in the case of lambda c, nothing but cutoff wavelength, it is opposite. All the lower order frequencies, lower order wavelengths will be traveling in the waveguide. And higher order wavelengths above this lambda c cannot travel in the waveguide. Okay. Uh, so, from the previous calculation of this cutoff wavelength, lambda c, it is calculated in terms of m and n. So, lambda c m n is obtained as 2 a b by m square a b square plus n square a square under root. Okay. This is the standard equation for this lambda c cutoff wavelength in terms of m comma n. So, lambda c m n is equal to 2 a b by m square b square plus n square a square under root ok so now let us talk with t tm wave so let us first discuss about tm wave so transverse magnetic already we know what is the tm wave ok transverse magnetic where the magnetic field is zero and electric field component is existed so now uh, let us take the first case m is equal to 1 n is equal to 1 again here we no need to check for 0 0 condition ok so m equal to 0 n equal to 0 lambda c is infinity we have no such type of mode existed in the rectangular waveguide what is the least possible mode existed in the rectangular waveguide i told you already this point in the tm modes existed in the rectangular waveguide and similarly te modes existed in the rectangular waveguide is also discussed so Again, we no need to discuss what is the least possible mode that from where we can start it. So, m equal to 1, n equal to 1. So, what is that lambda c? Lambda c 1 comma 1 is equal to 2 a b by m square n square 1 1. So, square root of a square plus b square. And similarly, for the second case, uh, if it is 1 1, what is that mode? Tm. 1 1 mode and next let us consider m is equal to 1 n equal to 2 nothing but tm 1 2 so lambda c 1 2 is equal to 2 a b by m is with a square so 4 a square plus b square under root this is what lambda c 1 2 and similarly third condition 
let us consider only three conditions or you can go for any number of conditions for example we are going up to three conditions so m equal to 2 n equal to 1 what is this mode tm21 <coughs> tm21 mode so lambda c21 is equal to 2ab by a square plus b square that is a square plus 4b square under root okay this is the lambda c21 now what is the least possible mode i told you already tm11 and among these or else you can also do in this way among these which is the highest value in the denominator he see here 2 1 denominator 4 b square is there so obviously the overall value is less and similarly here in the denominator is it is also 4 a square the overall value is less but what about the lambda c 1 1 in lambda c 1 1 denominator is less compared to the remaining cases denominator is less so overall value will be more in the first case so according to the definition of cutoff wavelength which is the maximum possible cutoff wavelength uh, maximum possible wavelength that is known as cutoff wavelength in this case lambda c 1 1 therefore the mode having the highest cutoff uh, wavelength that is the mode tm11 is known as dominant mode dominant mode okay uh, if you have a, any doubt you can also just uh, substitute the values any random values you can get the values lambda c21 and similarly lambda c11 is greater than lambda c12 and you can go for any type of calculation uh, after uh, 1 1 you will get only the lesser value that's why lambda c11 is the dominant mode in the case of tm11 and similarly tm in the case similarly for te waves nothing but te mode in te mode let us consider the same equation again lambda c m1 is equal to 2 a b by m square a square m square is it m square a square m square b square m square b square plus n square a square so this is under root now let us consider for te01 te01 mode that means m is equal to 0 n is equal to 1 what is the value of lambda lambda is equal to 2 a b by square root of m square b square plus m square a square a square under root another value is 0 it is 2b and similarly this is for first case go to the second case for te10 mode m is equal to 1 n equal to 0 so that means it is lambda c 0 1 and this is lambda c 1 0 is equal to 2 a b by m square b square so b square under root that is equal to 2 a and similarly the third case for t a uh, let us consider 1 1 mode that means m equal to 1 n equal to 1 what is the value of this one lambda c 1 1 that is equal to 2 a b by square root of a square plus b square okay now tell me among all these which is the highest value however it this value is very low because 2 a b by a square plus b square under root so definitely this value is low compared to above 2 and now in these two which is highest value if you take any rectangular waveguide what is the rectangular waveguide dimension like this okay this is the rectangular waveguide now this one is indicating a 
and this is indicated by B. What is A? A is nothing but breadth of the rectangular waveguide and B is nothing but width of the rectangular waveguide. So whose value is higher value? A is higher value. So 2A is more or 2B is more? 2A is obviously more. So that's why lambda C10, lambda C10 is the dominant mode here. That is TE10. <coughs> Therefore, as 2A is more among three results and more not only three we can go for any number of equations but 2a is the highest value so that's why lambda c 10 is known as cut off frequency sorry cut off wavelength cut off wavelength okay that means what about the mode associated with to this cut off wavelength tm10 is known as dominant mode okay See, TM10 is known as dominant mode. TM10, that is dominant mode. Okay. So, among this, uh, in TM, several number of modes are there. But uh, TM10 existed as the dominant mode. Okay. So, this is about the cutoff wavelength in TM and TE waves. Thank you.